Keep an eye on this for the rest of the year. Um, Shalom Warm, this is the Brother Bob. You're from the GMS Virginia camp. Back at it again with another Lord willing at a fine lesson. Before I get started, like always, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, and Chachwadash. The bonus of the elder apostles of Great Millstone, and that I learned the truth from. And Shalom Warm, peace and blessings goes out too. The hopeful elect of the nation of Israel scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, sincerely waiting and enduring until the return of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach to deliver us out of this last captivity. Yeah, be on high alert. All right. Well, you're supposed to be on high alert, you know, this year, next year, however long we got left in this captivity. But be on high alert for the rest of this year. Stay on watch for this um, thing that I'm about to go into. High watch alert. Um, we see the narratives that are being ran out. Um, you see the cyber attacks that have been happen happening recently. Um, all of a sudden, you know, Russia wants to attack the gas and chicken okay, beef all right <laughs> uh, out of everything they could attack they want to attack meat and, and gas when really you, you know hey I'm, I'm not gonna speak too much on it <laughs> for obvious reasons you know why all right getting strikes and videos taken down but um yeah you know we, we see the narratives that's being played out and um i got this article put up here before i get into this main article i got <clears throat> touching on this topic this article right here, which I didn't even know, this is dated June 7th. So this is new. It says majority of 4.4 million cryptocurrency ransom payment in the colonial pipeline hack recovered. Hmm. So they paid off the hackers in crypto. Let me see, hold on. Let me see what it's talking about. Many utility companies, many so, water so basically, companies. they found the hackers to be part of a group stationed in Russia, and they were paid off. The hackers were paid off with almost five million of crypto. So look, you see the narratives. I'm not going, like I said, I'm not going to talk too heavy on it. I mean, you see for yourself what they're trying to, you know. If you believe this, all this, that's on you. But this is what I want you to keep a, a high, high, um. Uh, 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 eye on, all right. Be high alert on because of um, cyber attack after cyber attack after cyber attack lets you know what they want to, to happen. So this article is called was on the sociable and it um is titled "Prepping for a Cyber Pandemic: Cyber Polygon 2021 to Stage Supply Chain Attack Simulation." Will the Cyber Polygon 2021 be as prophetic as Event 201 in simulating a pandemic response? And this was dated four months ago, so they, they've been on it. And the Cyber Polygon, which is going to read up on it, it's a drill exercise, all right, a simulation that's going to take place next month, I believe, on like the 7th or the 9th. So we're very close to, to these things coming to pass. But um, let me continue to read. It says, the World Economic Forum will stage another cyber attack exercise as it continues to prep for a potential cyber attack that founder Klaus Schwab says will be worse than the current global crisis. Wow. You already see the state that the world is in right now. <laughs> right? It's not pretty. It says the solar winds hack served as a wake up call to the supply chain attack vulnerabilities still present in public and private organizations. And it served as a warning that the next breach could be exponentially worse in spreading through any device connected to the Internet. And if something like that, well, let me let me if something like that was to happen where these devices that are connected to the Internet was ba which is basically everything. The first people to lose their mind would be these women. And then you men and all you people will, will, will bug the fuck out. All right. But anyways, let's get to you. I'm going to speak more on that after this. It says, following up on last year's cyber polygon attack, cyber attack exercise, an event aimed at preventing a digital pandemic. All right. Don't forget the Great Reset at preventing a digital pandemic. The w all right. 
continue reading. It says the WEF, the World Economic Forum, has announced that the 2021 edition will be taking place on July 9th. So it's the 9th. This is a quote from the World Economic Forum. A cyber attack with COVID with COVID-like characteristics will spread faster and farther than any biological virus. Hmm. All right. And it says. This year's Cyber Polygon 2021 will simulate a fictional cyber attack with participants from dozens of countries responding to a targeted supply chain attack on a corporate ecosystem in real time. Mm. Let's play what they got here. The COVID-19 pandemic has shaken our economies and societies to the core and shown us how vulnerable we are to biological threats. In the digital world, Similar risks are being overlooked right now. A cyber attack with COVID-like characteristics would spread faster and further than any biological virus. Its reproductive rate would be around 10 times greater than what we've experienced with the coronavirus. To give you an idea, one of the fastest worms in history, the 2003 slammer Sapphire Worm, doubled in size approximately every 8.5 seconds, infecting over 75,000 devices in 10 minutes and almost 11 million devices in 24 hours. Fortunately, at least until now, cyber attacks have not impacted our health the way pandemics have, but the economic damages, and therefore the impact they have had on our daily lives, have been equal and sometimes even greater. You see, the only way to stop the exponential propagation of a COVID-like cyber threat is to fully disconnect the millions of vulnerable devices from one another and from the internet. All of this in a matter of days. A single day without the internet would cost our economies more than 50 billion US dollars. And that's before consider- Did you hear that? It said a, a, a one day after a cyber attack, one day taking down the internet would cost the economy 50 billion dollars. So we talk about the dollar crashing and all that. If they do this, <laughs> that's turning everything off. If this was to happen, that's turning everything off. Which would need, which things would need to be what? Turn back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to, I'm trying to speak too much on this, man, but it's hard, you know. It's hard out here to be a watchman nine days, you know. <laughs> Considering the economic and societal damages, should these devices be linked to essential services, such as transport or healthcare? As the digital realm increasingly merges with our physical world, the ripple effects of cyber attacks on our safety just keep on expanding at a faster pace than what we're preparing for. COVID-19 was known as an anticipated risk. So is the digital equivalent. Let's be better prepared for that one. The time is now. Hey, you heard what they said, the time is now. So let's continue on watching this article, or reading this article. It says, uh, well, no, uh, it's basically restating what it just said in that video. Let me go down. Okay. Um, and re continue reading on. In his welcoming remarks at Cyber Polygon 2020, founder Klaus Schwab warned about a coming cyber pandemic that will be worse than the current global crisis, right? Um, so I think they got that video. Yep. So let's see what your boy Klaus Schwab had to say. Pay insufficient attention to the frightening scenario of a comprehensive cyber attack, which would bring to a complete halt to the power supply, transportation, hospital services, our society as a whole. The COVID-19 crisis would be seen in this respect as a small disturbance in comparison to a major cyber attack. We have to ask ourselves in such a situation, how could we let this happen? Despite the fact we had all the information about the possibility and the seriousness of a risk attack. Cybercrime and global cooperation should be at the forefront of the global agenda. The grim reality is that cybercrime today is definitively a gross industry. It has significant financial costs to the global economy, but it has also important indirect costs. 
confidence in digital transformation and therefore into the overall trustfulness of a society. So there is no doubt that building digital trust and a secure internet for the global economy is one of the major challenges that no nation or company can solve alone. It requires a global response with strong private public cooperation. You, you heard it? It requires a global response. All right. What? New. No. Mm. <laughs> NWO man, you know what I'm you know what I'm you know what I'm hitting at. But um I don't wanna play any more on that. Let me read a little bit more on this. Um it says Squab added it is important to use uh, the, the 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 vid crisis as a timely opportunity to reflect on the lessons of cybersecurity community to draw and improve our unpreparedness for a potential cyber pandemic. Right? As the digital world enroaches encroaches on our physical and biological worlds, an effective cyber attack could compromise anything connected to the internet, including medical devices that keep people alive. Do you understand what that means? If this were to happen, you got any loved ones in the hospital connected to the devices? They're through, all right? That's gonna cause panic. That's gonna cause chaos throughout the hospitals. That's gonna cause people running like a madman all right, with his head chopped off, okay? <laughs> like the head had been chopped, like a chicken with his head chopped off running, all right? He's not knowing what to do, because this has never happened before, all right? Let's, let's go to the next bulletin. It says, the Internet of Things ecosystem of connected devices that run smart homes, cameras, microphones, sensors, and believe it or not, all right, there's a lot of people that, have, that run their houses with a lot of smart devices, all right? Even now, you got these people with these rain cameras on their doors. Well, be prepared for all that to be out the window, and you be and you gonna be nervous and scared because you you base your life around being able to surveil uh, surveil your house, have surveillance around your house, and know what's going on when you ain't home. Well, hey, if this happens, you might not even be able to make it home, and you ain't gonna have your ring thing on, right? Because it ain't gonna be connected no more power is off so you ain't gonna be able to look on your phone because your phone's gonna be off <laughs> you ain't gonna be able to call nobody because that's gonna be off and, and keep in mind transportation is gonna come to a halt right which means everybody's gonna panic and try to get to their destinations which means the interstate the highways cities it's gonna be jam-packed you may be sitting in traffic for eight hours all right sometimes you can have stand standstill traffic for over an hour just from a car accident how about everybody trying to get to the same place at the same time, whether it be IE or grocery store, IE home? All right. Total chaos. All right. It says the Internet body, the Internet of Bodies ecosystem of digitally collected humans, global financial system. So your banks. All right. They don't get no money out the bank. That's a, that's that's a, that's dead. <laughs> All right. If you got if you got um, some crypto up on the internet that's gone shut down right you got money on your, your stock account online that's gone don't give a damn if it's digital currency or paper money in your bank that's that's out of here okay so that's this is the a hey, i give it one week one week because we've seen what these people how they reacted when 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 the when the um pipeline all right people run into the gas it wasn't a gas shortage it was a delay of the gas getting to certain gas stations and people on the east coast actually made it a damn gas shortage for a few days because they went and bought up all the damn gas all right so we see how these people react in situations man all right when the when the first when this um when the vid 19 first crisis happened all right what happened people ran to their grocery stores buying up all the damn tissue all the damn meat all the pork all right so imagine something like this happening. I, I don't give it, I give it a few days and then people will be bashing each other upside the head. These people, they're so dependent upon um, this, this this society that's been built around being digitized, okay? So when that goes down, these people are gonna go down right along with it. Um, 
Boom, it says energy grids, water treatment facilities. So your water is gonna be, <laughs> you're gonna have no water, or no clean water that you have um, direct access to. Energy grids, you might well, hey, that's why I see a lot of people now, they're getting um, solar powered um, houses. They're having their houses be solar powered, which is smart, man. You got people that are preparing for things like this cornerly. But the only way you're going to be able to survive is through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel Shah because the Lord can get to you any type of way he wants to get to you. All right. Uh, matter of fact, let me get that real. Let me get a scripture to prove that real quick. In, um, what is it? Psalms, Psalms 68th chapter. <clears throat> This is the book of Psalms, chapter 68, verse 20, and it reads, He that is our power is the power of salvation, as Yahweh, and unto Yahweh the Lord belongeth the issues from death. So the Most High is in control of who lives and who dies. So, I mean, if he wants you out of here, you're going to be out of here. I don't give a damn how you prepare. A lot of these people that got these bunkers and these shelters, you may not be able to get to your shelter. Like I said, if you're stuck on a bridge somewhere or interstate traffic, the exits are cut off. And how are you going to get to your certain areas? All right. Now you got to get out and walk. And you people ain't used to walking. <laughs> All right. So that's that's going to be a, that's going to be a dilemma in itself. You better hope the sun. Don't, you better hope the sun ain't going down when you got to get out your car and walk. <laughs> right. So it's just going to be it's going to be total chaos in the, in a matter of days man it ain't gonna take long at all if this was to occur which hey what does the scripture say prophecy we know in ancient egypt what happened in ancient egypt the lights yep yeah, the lights the lights went out okay them, them days of darkness all right the lord said i was smite let me get that i had to go ahead and pull up that tab but uh yeah oh uh, my computer be acting slow man but yeah, uh, ancient Egypt was plagued with what? Three days of darkness, man. Uh, let's get second edges, 15th chapter. Um, let's start at verse 10. It says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretch out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. So them plagues are going to come back and one of the plagues is darkness, man. So... And it really ain't, and, and right here, this really, because you you get, when the sun comes up, you got light, all right? But see, the big thing about this is just not having power. Not all these infrastructures that help society run are going to be shut down, and that's what's going to cause the chaos, all right? Darkness, yeah, darkness is one thing, all right? Nighttime, people are going to really be scared, but hey, man, it's, it's going to be, um, it's gonna be a big thing, and it, it, it's a lot. It's a lot on this um, article that I'm not gonna go into. So if you wanna um, go into it yourself, you can go ahead and go into it. Like I said, it's on the sociable.co. And um, yeah, man, keep a high uh, keep a high watch out for this for the rest of the year, man, because we know the days are at hand of the return of our Lord Yahusha Mashiach. I believe the um, Ring of Fire eclipse. Um. The Ring of Fire solar eclipse comes in this weekend, another sign in the heaven. So we're at that, we're in that time, man. Prophetic times, prophecy. So with this, I hope the elect was edified. Till next time I say, Shalom.